Greetings and welcome to a brand new series called Info Whores. I've been kind of secretly promoting a lot of what I find to be politically interesting stories, but I didn't take claim with my name. Patty Greer, UFO filmmaker. I've made eight movies and received eight prestigious awards, including five EBs at the International UFO Congress. But the work that I did with Crop Circles touched a nerve with someone clearly because I have been dealing with surprising suppression. Wow, same as the scientist that told the truth about crop circles. So what's interesting is that in the course of the last 10 years of making movies and being in the field, I've met most of the top people and researchers of ufology. Uh, I've met Edgar Mitchell and a lot of the men that have been astronauts and scientists and biophysicists, as well as just simply researchers of history, and more important than any of them are actually the contactees, the people that are really dealing with these advanced technologies and these advanced species. And people that know the most appear to be the quietest. So what I found in seeking backstage conversations with people is that a lot of the people that knew the most were people that a lot of us haven't heard of. And then in the field, there's a lot of people that of course have been taking in so much information for years, but not from just humanity, from multi-dimensional entities as well. These are the people that I find the most interesting and when you get going in a conversation, it doesn't seem to end with people that are infomaniacs, people that just can't stop learning. I was never like this until I had a contact experience in 2001. And then my life started to move very, very quickly. And it happened again in 2007. And after that, I made all these movies very, very quickly with no training. How? By working with other dimensional entities. Now you can choose to believe it or not, but if you're an info whore, you know it's true. Because we don't lie, we don't need to. The people that are really having contact, really doing the work, is the trick. You know, it's one thing to have contact. It's one thing to say, I have intuition and telepathy and all these skills. How about we start using it? That's the plan and the goal of InfoHorse is to say to the people that know so much about such important subjects, how can we use this now and move forward? So that's the mission of the InfoHors. It's not just to be hoeing around and being arrogant about what we think we know, but rather taking what we know and using it to benefit humanity. That's been my work in the field of crop circles. And I am very proud of the punchline of my final film, Crop Circle Diaries, is the fact that the seeds inside crop circles become super seeds. This is why the crop circle phenomenon, which is real, it's an earth phenomenon, it's not some UFO wacky thing, but they made it out to be some UFO wacky thing in all the news, so that they could debunk it and keep people's attention away from the fact that this is a true earth phenomenon that's gonna bring our food supply back when we learn to respect real science. Real crop circle science that was discovered to bring these super seeds happened in the 1980s and 90s by two amazing people, William Levengood and Penny Kelly, and their work has been suppressed until my final film, Crop Circle Diaries, came out in 2016. The level of suppression I've dealt with has been stunning, absolutely shocking. And what does it say to me? It says, damn, you did something really important. Yeah, that's when I became an info whore, official. <laughs> so the name I know will seem offensive to many of you. So let's clear this up right now. It was innocent and it actually makes sense because there's a lot of people who can't get enough information. 
They're always combing through social media, through the news. They've got stuff on everywhere in the house. They are infomaniacs. They just can't get enough. Well, these are the info whores. These are the people I refer to. But again, it's not about gathering the information. It's about doing something with it. So that's the mission, and we're on it. And I hope you enjoy these shows. I'm Patty Greer. My website is cropcirclefilms.com. And our work on InfoHors is to bring you really, really wonderful, smart people with solutions. How can we move forward? Let's go.